Hello and welcome to Swipe. This week we're taking a look at the technology making the difference between victory and defeat in rugby. We're here in Guildford where Harlequins Rugby Union team train and where every player's movement is carefully recorded and analysed. So what does it take to create the perfect performance on the pitch? Will Sargent's been finding out. It looks a bit like a remote control or a mobile phone. But the information gathered by this little box could hold the key to success on the rugby pitch. Sports scientist. The GPS tracker sits in a small pocket at the back of the shirt and together with a heart rate monitor allows the team of analysts to record every move the players make. This year we've got a system with Deloitte that has pretty much everything going into it. So all of our heart rate measures, any monitoring measures, the wellness questionnaires the boys fill out, RPEs of sessions, the GPS data, uh, the physiotherapy data, everything kind of gets pulled into one place which allows us to kind of analyse and look for trends and try and best manage the squad and best manage the load. But GPS isn't the only tool available to the team. Another analyst positions himself on a nearby rooftop to film the session. And above the players' heads, a drone keeps tabs on training. The footage captured by the cameras is then fed into a computer and analysed in detail. For the coaches, this technology is vital to understanding the stresses on the players. Certainly, I think all clubs uh, are right, you know, at the cutting edge of what of how you interpret data, and that's the biggest thing for us. Is uh, it's not just having reams and reams of data; it's actually sifting through it all and having the people here who'll actually be able to provide us with the data that matters, uh, and that's a huge part of what we do. Finish, finish, finish. Just like any Premiership team, competition for starting places at Harlequins is tough. And many of the players work with the analysts to improve their game and prepare for matches. It's great to get, get an overhead view. You can see running lines, you can see how things go. And then we get it sent a copy of training. So when you get home, you're able to then log in, have a look through the video and, uh, and, and see how you're doing. Because it's one thing, feeling it when you're on the pitch, you might not necessarily be able to see everything around you. When it's on a, on a, on a video clip, you can then go, oh, this guy was here, maybe I should have made a different decision. Winning a rugby match is ultimately down to who scores the most points on the pitch. But the careful analysis of data could give you a head start well before you even kick off. Will Sargent, Sky News. Well, I'm joined now by Kevin Gill, the senior performance analyst here at Harlequins. Kevin, some of that tech we saw in Will's piece there is, is truly fascinating. Does all of it make your job easier or does any of it add an extra layer of pressure? So a lot of the tech is about making our job easier that's why we've got it um, but some of it obviously new technology we've got to learn how to use it so in terms of the drone learn how to fly it learn the kind of footage we're going to get and then how to get that into a format is that, that quite complicated it can be quite complicated yeah and to get it into a format that works for all our coaches and all our players so there's a slight difficulty with that but essentially yeah it's about looking at new technology and trying to stay, to stay ahead of the game do all the other clubs also have a similar amount and level of technology? Uh, well, not quite. I mean, as a department, we're constantly evolving, so we're trying to keep our finger on the pulse and stay ahead of the game. So each club is, is doing the same. So as, as I say, it's a bit of a cliche. If we're not moving forward, we're moving backwards. So hopefully, if we're looking at new technology, new things are out there, we're trying to stay ahead of the other clubs. And what about across sport? in general where does rugby rank in terms of how advanced their technology is yeah but right up there yeah I'm, I'm actually part of the english institute of sport um which is the leading provider of sports science tra practitioners across the uk so i've seen british cycling i've seen canoe slalom and uh, lots of different sports so it's great for us to be able to tap into that and bring that into rugby but yeah, my opinion is that rugby is right up there in terms of uh, the technology we use. So you mentioned cycling there. Has rugby been influenced by the kind of technology you see in cycling? Well, bits and pieces that I've learned from cycling I've brought in here um, and then back the other way as well. Things that they did here before I, before I came here have, have transferred back to British cycling as well. It's so right it's, up there. What about football? Where would football rank? I'd say football... I, I, I was at Liverpool Football Club a while ago at the academy. Um, and I'd say that... Rugby's ahead of the game in terms, really? of, yeah, in terms of the analysis we use. Yeah. All right, well, Kevin Gill, thanks for joining us. Good Thank to you. talk to you.